Well, you've certainly heard of and probably tried one of Wisconsin's many craft beers, but what about its craft sodas? Joining us now is CEO and founder of craft soda bottler Wisco Pop, Austin Ashley. Austin, it's nice to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Along with your craft sodas here. So uh, what makes craft soda different? I mean, we've heard that mainstream soda sales are down, but craft soda sales are up. So why is that? What do you think that is? Yeah, well, with our product in particular, it's, it's we're doing kind of a scratch approach. So we bring in raw produce and actually make these sodas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is a lot. It's all natural stuff. Yep. There. So there's no extracts or preservatives. The only preservatives is like lemon juice. Okay. Let's talk about the three flavors that you make at Wisco Pop. Yeah. Um, we'll start with the root beer on the end there. What's in that? Yeah. Well, this is a combination of molasses, brown sugar, cinnamon, and star anise. Okay. And then our ginger brew is uh, fresh ground organic ginger, limes, lemons that we squeeze in our processing facility, mm -hmm. uh, and a little bit of lavender, and then Wisconsin honey to sweeten it rather than sugar. Okay. And then the Door County Tart Cherry Juice Soda, which you got there. Yeah, which I'm going to try because I love this. Is yeah. it really Door County Cherries? It is. It? Yep. I work with a, a tart cherry juice maker. In, uh, Ooh, that's really good. Yeah. That's yeah. very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so that's that's. Uh, Give me an excuse to drink. Yeah. So that's that's good. Thank and, you. And um, so, how and why did you get into craft sodas? You know, and so what led you yeah. to start Wisco Pop? Well, I was kind of fooling around with uh, craft beer at home, and and mm -hmm. and just decided to start tinkering with sodas as well. And I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. And, and it started some other businesses that uh, got some good lift, like Kickapoo Coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just moved on to wanting to do this project. Okay, so we know the ingredients are natural, but some people see soda and they go, oh, it's fattening. It's what, what's the calorie count on something like this? Uh, about 120 to 130. I mean, mm. the other thing, too, is we're not putting anything that you wouldn't just eat. Right. Uh, in our products. Yeah. You know, no kind of like isolated components that a scientist is making or. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very natural tasting. It, it's um, it's very delicious. And so these are all uh, Wisconsin ingredients whenever possible. Yeah, whenever yeah. possible. Okay. And we're in the Willie Street Co-op, mm -hmm. uh, Metcalf's in their cafes there uh, right. and Whole Foods as well. Okay, and we're going to put up under news links uh, a link to your website which yeah. tells people where they can buy it. Uh, and also, you're in Viroqua. Do you have a little storefront there or um, not yet? Uh, through the Viroqua Food Co-op okay. in town. You okay. can always call me to set up a tour or something. Okay, well, we'll put that link under news links yeah. at NBC15.com. So uh, when you started this, Austin, did you uh, did you think it would take off like it has? I mean, how do you feel about the way that it's Yeah, going? it was kind of a funny thing. I, just, I had a, a dead-end job and I started Started, uh, I said, well, I could probably make this much money at a farmer's market. And so then I did, and, and I'm carrying it in bottles now, so it's pretty exciting. All right. Yeah. Whis Wisco Pop Craft Soda. Congratulations. Thank you. Give it a try, and uh, I plan on finishing this during the next commercial break. Awesome. <laughs> All right, thanks. Nice thank to you. have you here. Yeah, yeah. Good you. luck. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back to find a look at the forecast after this.